30 putt for Hoygar. Playing 209 yards today, this hole. Nicely done. Just on the left side, third shot. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, really, from here. We've got Rasmus here, 128 yards at the right rough. Tight pin on that right hand side. Fiery, the fairways, John. They are extreme boxy, very extreme. Augie, well, I can tell you, our lead commentator, Mr. Boxer, went back yesterday and, you know, the twin brothers wearing masks. Well done, Rasmus. Great playing. No, it's Nikolai. <laughs> but you, you, you took it well as ever, Boxy. <laughs> well, I said, he said, don't worry, he said, that happens quite a lot. <laughs> it was a terrible, genuine mistake. You know what it's like, John. I do, Boxy. Now, this one, good opportunity off the right hand side for Birdie for Rasmus. Lovely hole this one, go get him this 15th, just over 400 yards. And there you go, position eight for Rasmus Oigo. This has been a good uh, group to follow. Chaps, birdies galore, left, right and centre. Yes, there certainly has been plenty of birdies and eagles, you're right there. Hoygar playing with Ryan Fox and Steve Brown, his second into the second. Beautiful swinger of the club, he really is. Beautiful stuff. Up ahead of the green, Hoygar for his birdie. Not quite. Actually, where Westwood's gone, your, your son Dale went down there in a pro-am here once, didn't you? you? You gave him... Man, this young man is... So impressive, Rasmus, my God. Oh, and again there, there's the... Well, potential parachute ch shot coming up here for Rasmus Hoygaard. The green short-sided. Anything a little bit heavy will be down the hill away from him. That was always a threat, boys. Absolutely. And, you know, in, every time you're around one of these greens, below the green in that fluff, You've got a, a handful of options. You had to. Yeah. You pretty much had to pitch it where his ball is, is now, where he's chipping it for his par down the slope off the left. But utterly unflustered. So this is to drop one shot. One it is, but it's two shots gone in the last four. Moves from minus seven back to minus five now. Finding the front of the green at the 17th. Not looking to hold this, he's just looking to two putts and run to the 18th. Beautiful. He was fantastic. He putted brilliantly last week with the long putts, and again he's. Yeah, beautiful finishing hole. Rises up to a beautiful green and three separate tiers. So it's all about the drive, getting that fairway. So bouncing on though, out with three wood here for Rasmus. And you get you get in that stuff down there, John. It's so fiddly, isn't it? What a bad light. The stuff down the right hand side, grass going with for Rasmus Hoygaard. Pin tucked on that right hand side, just over the bunker. 85 yards he's got. Also going left, also trying to use the ridge to bring it back, and it will eventually head back down the slope. Rasmus Hoygaard. Can he finish with a birdie? Oh. <laughs> he certainly can. Nice. Back in 34 for 6 under 65. Rasmus, 65. How good does that feel? 
feels good. I, um, I played well today, so uh, delighted with the 65. You're playing well all the time, though. Does it, do you feel before you tee it up that, you know, today's, <laughs> it's there, I'm going to play well again? Not really. Um, yeah, obviously I'm pretty confident after the last two weeks, so I know my, my game is in a good place right now, but as I walk on the course, I'm just trying to be patient and, like, keep my head down on my game plan and just see, see how, how good the score can be. How is your name, your your where you are in the world of golf, growing in Denmark? How much notoriety do you have in Denmark? Because it's pretty unusual. Two twins, you and Nikolai, doing what you're doing. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously our names are getting bigger, and bigger in in Denmark right now, and um, a lot more people like um, like know know who we are now. So um, yeah, it's it's a funny one. Did you speak to your brother between last night and this morning? I did not, no. So, in terms of knowing who you are, our commentator Richard Boxer was out in the car park stretching his legs last night and he thought he was talking to you because your brother Nikolai had a mask on. He said, well played Rasmus, you're playing some great stuff. And Nikolai said, no, he said, I'm not Rasmus, I'm Nikolai. He said, oh, he tried to recover. And he said, oh, but you're the best of the two. And he said, well, no, he said, no, not really. You could hear the sound of Boxall wincing from the lobby of the hotel. You could actually hear the sound of what wincing sounds like. My question to you is, who do you feel is the better of the two players? You or your brother? Um, it's hard to say. It depends on the day. Right. Um, are you competitive? Because the Molinari's were unbelievably competitive between each other. We are competitive in, in everything we do. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it really depends on the day because Nigel uh, can play as good as me, if, if not better. Um, so it just depends on who's got it that day, more or less. How much are you enjoying life on the European Tour at the moment? Yeah, it's good. It's uh, it's good to be back. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's fun to watch you. Well played today. Thanks. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.